Hi, I'm trying something a little bit different today, so hopefully this isn't terrible. I'm trying to film on my phone instead of on my camera. I got home and I was really excited to talk about this book that I'm gonna do and my battery was dead for my camera. So I'm like every other YouTuber now that doesn't plan things out. So today I finished reading 13 Ways of Looking at a Fat Girl by Mona Awad. Um, and I wanted to talk about it. I had some thoughts on it. Um, so the main character is Lizzie, Elizabeth, Beth, Liz. She goes through, like, as she's kind of evolving as a person, she goes through different nicknames that she insists on being called. That is one thing that I thought was interesting, but I'm sure a lot of people do that, actually. And it's basically her, it's a glimpse through throughout her life while she is struggling with body image. Um, her whole life feels like it is dictated by how she feels about her body and what she looks like now she describes herself in this as being like heavy fat whatever she's embarrassed to send pictures of herself to like this online boyfriend things like that but we don't actually ever know there's no specific numbers so she never says oh i'm a size 14 i'm a size you know 34 i think at one point she talks about how she used to have to dress in plus size clothing but I don't know how big she is and that's probably intentional so that we can all or people can relate to her because I would imagine that you know regardless of whether she's heavy or skinny she never really feels great about herself because she's only doing the she's only doing her evolution in terms of her body size she's not really changing anything about her mind um, and I think a lot of people, males and females, could relate to that. The whole book is 13 chapters or vignettes, glimpses into her life as she progresses from teenager to what I would guess would be 40s is where it ends. Um, I'm not 100% sure how old she is at the end. But um, I this book reminded me a lot of She's Come Undone by Wally Lamb. I haven't read that book again or I haven't read that book since I was like a teenager so it's been probably like 15 years since I've read it so I couldn't say specifically why but it has that like uncomfortable feeling it's uncomfortable to read it is um like kind of an angry book it's not one that I would necessarily say like yes you should go out and read this but also I wish like that other people in my life would read it so that I would know so I could talk about it with other people because I think I liked it and I didn't like it. I read it really quickly. It's, it is like an easy read. It, you're able to consume it very quickly. Um, and that's not a negative for me because it didn't mean it was like simple or easy. It was just, um, it was just good. My cat is like kicking me. Gosh. Uh, so yeah, I usually take notes when I know I want to make a video for a book and the only notes I have my little post-it note here, the only notes I have is it's maybe that it, maybe it's meant to be thoughts on what life is like if you're only conscious of your body because that she is, Lizzie is really like one note in terms of that. Like, I, I don't feel like you see her kind of grow as a character and evolve um, besides physically but I think that's actually maybe a, the point of it also is that like even when she's skinny like the end result is like oh you're gonna lose weight and be skinny she's not like necessarily happier um, and my other note is that it could be triggering like if you're compulsive if you hate your body and you feel like that takes you on a downward slope I wouldn't read this because the whole time I'm reading it, it made me feel kind of anxious and uncomfortable, but it didn't, it made me feel like I'm glad that I have a better body image than that and I don't live that way. So that's something that I would note about that. I did notice today, as I was getting ready to finish the book, I had maybe like 10 pages left. I was like, oh, I haven't marked any quotes, any lines, anything in this. And I kind of, I like to always say in my book reviews what my favorite line was or my favorite part or whatever. And I didn't have one. And then the very last line, which I kind of think is what the whole book was leading to, but it's not going to be a spoiler if I read it. 
um, was my favorite part. It just says, I feel dangerously close to a knowledge that is probably already ours for the taking, a knowledge that I know could change everything. And I felt like that made me like the book officially because yesterday when I was reading it, I was like, I don't know if I like this book. I don't know if I dislike this book. Um, the reason I picked it up was because I had watched Estée Lalonde and Ariel Bissette's video. It was on Estée's channel about women in literature. And Estée said that her boyfriend read this and was like, oh my gosh, is this what it's really like to be a teenage girl? Like, it sounds terrible. And so I was reading it looking for a realistic portrayal of what it's like to be a teenager. This was not my experience. I don't think this is what it's like to be a teenager. Um, I think this could definitely be similar to some people's experiences, but you know, she's not always that likable, which I guess like none of us are really all that likable all the time, but like there are parts in it that you just think like because she's a fat character, she isn't very smart, she lets men be mean to her, things like that, that like someone who is 300 pounds in high school and who's in their 20s doesn't necessarily do. So those are the things that I mean, like when she's letting boys be mean to her or men be mean to her and she's trying to like, it's very, it's some of it, it's not graphic in terms of like sex scenes, but it definitely uses like language and stuff like that. So that's good to know as well if you don't feel comfortable with that. But like some of that made me really uncomfortable, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. So I will say at the end of this book, I liked it wouldn't necessarily tell everybody to read it but I would love for people to give me their opinions I ended up giving it a three stars on Goodreads because I don't know I'm like in the middle I guess like I feel like I liked it and I didn't like it um so that's my <laughs> final thoughts um I do like the cover though I think it's pretty and it's she's erasing it looks like eraser marks and stuff and I really like that um, so yeah, that is my little book review on this. I hope that this looks okay from my phone camera and I don't have to record it again. Um, but other than that, I hope that you have a great day wherever this finds you. And I hope that somebody will, some people will comment and tell me what they thought of this book when they find this review. Okay, so have a great day. Happy reading, TTYL.